Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Marilyn, if it's your first time watching. So today, as you guys can see by the title, I am doing a pretty fresh ColourPop foundation review. I wanted to get this video out to you probably about a month ago now. I actually ordered this and they said it would be like a week and a half. It came, well, a package came but it wasn't my package. They sent me someone else's package, which was a lip gloss. So I was pretty upset about that. So I had to wait another two weeks for the foundation to finally come. And it is here. Yesterday I got it. So I was like, you know what? Let me do this right away and get this done for you guys. I will open it up for you. I swatched a little bit on my hand. I haven't tried it on my face yet, but this is what the bottle looks like. It is called Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And I got the shade Medium ADW. I'm not sure if it's gonna match. I'm praying that it does because I've waited so long for this. I just really, really want it to work out. Um, I've heard amazing reviews on it. So the claims of the foundation, it says a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting, medium buildable coverage for natural, healthy looking skin. It doesn't have like, it doesn't say how long the foundation wears for, um, but I'm going to be testing it for about probably nine hours. It is like almost 1230 when I'm filming this. By the time I get it on, it'll probably be 1230. Um, and then I'll probably take it off around, I'm going to dinner at 7, so once I get home from dinner, maybe 8.39. So probably about 9 hours I will be testing this foundation out for. It does say it's dermatologist tested, oil-free, and vegan. For the directions, it just says prep your skin with Pretty Fresh Primer, which I didn't purchase the Pretty Fresh Primer, but I'm going to be using a primer that I always use. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer um, because I use this all the time and it's my favorite primer. So I know that the primer won't be the problem if it doesn't work out, it would definitely be the foundation. Not that I think that this foundation is not gonna work out because I really have high hopes for it. I guess let's just hop right in and get started. I'm gonna do one side of my face with a beauty blender and I'm gonna do the other side of my face with a brush. So let me just put my hair back. So I'm just gonna dab some of the, my primer on like I normally do. My skin is now primed. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. It looks like it might be a good match. Let's see. I'm just gonna dab a little bit over here. Probably about one pump I'm using on this side. Probably, or like a half a pump. And now I'm just going to dab it. So far, I am liking the color definitely the color is definitely good for me for sure it is looking like a medium coverage it's not super full coverage because I still see like a little bit of my skin underneath like a little bit of my redness right here that I had um but besides that I really do like the finish of it that's just one layer. I might go in with a little tiny bit more. And blend that out. Yeah, once you do another layer, it's definitely more like full coverage for me. At least I usually wear a very, very light coverage foundation, so this for me is like full coverage. Oh, 
Okay, so that's one half with the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna do the other half with my foundation brush. I'm just gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna dot it on my face. It's probably maybe a little light for me, but barely, like it's a pretty spot on good match, I would say. And I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and blend that right in. I think I'm liking how the Beauty Blender side looks a little bit more so far because it just blended in a little bit better. Where on this side, I have to dab it in a little bit more to blend it in. Although I think I got more coverage on the side that I used my foundation brush. So I would say that so far it's looking like this side is more natural with the Beauty Blender than the side with the brush that gives more of a full coverage. But if you were to use the brush, you just have to make sure you blend it out a little bit better. So that is what my skin is looking like. It looks honestly really, really good. Very glowy, very fresh. Like I said, I think with the brush, you're gonna get more coverage, but it is harder to blend out than with the sponge. Um, you get more of a natural glowy coverage on this side and it's just seamlessly blended with the sponge. I am looking pretty crazy. So what I'm gonna do is finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. The makeup is all finished. I put everything on. Um, before I go into the makeup and how it's wearing on the skin so far and how everything layered, I want to mention that the foundation is $16. I got it off of the ColourPop website, but I believe it is also on the Ulta website. Also, I want to mention that I do have dry to normal skin. Um, by the end of the day, it does sometimes get a little bit oily, but for the most part, it is more on the dry to normal side. I want to say that in the beginning, I thought that it was a little bit more glowy, but as it's wearing, I'm noticing that it has gotten a little bit more matte. Um, or I wouldn't say matte, but I would say natural maybe. Um, if I come in close, you can notice that it doesn't... Like on my forehead, maybe a little bit, there's like some glow. But besides my highlight, um, I don't think that it's super glowy. It is definitely more natural looking. The products that I layered on top, I used um, some bronzer, blush, and highlight. And it all went on very smoothly, very seamlessly. Um, I had no problem. I usually set my whole face with powder after my foundation and I didn't do that this time just so I would see how it would wear and honestly it went on very very smooth. I really did not have a problem with it getting patchy or anything like that. I am used to a very light glowy foundation so this is a little bit different for me because it is more medium to full buildable coverage and it is more of a natural finish, not so much of a glowy finish. I am going to try to wear this for nine hours. I'm gonna also try to do another check-in before that nine hour mark, just so you guys can see how it's wearing throughout the day. But I mean, honestly, so far, I am really, really liking it. My skin looks pretty flawless. If you do have larger pores I would just be careful with that because it does look like I see a little bit maybe right here in this area also I do usually get smile lines um, right now they aren't too bad but we'll see how that goes throughout the day um, it's bound to happen because I always do have smile lines which is very annoying but it is what it is 
but besides that i think that's it it is currently 12 48 so i will see you guys in just a couple hours to see how the foundation is wearing i just want to show you guys in some natural light um what the foundation looks like just because sometimes like the ring light and everything could um show up a little bit differently so just so you guys can see this is what it looks like after i just put it on okay so i am back it is now 5 30 so it's been in about five hours with the foundation on um the only thing i am noticing my forehead is a little bit oily here than it would be i haven't gone outside yet so the humidity hasn't really affected any of this um my smile lines honestly don't look bad at all i was expecting a lot worse my forehead is a little bit oily um but overall i think it's looking really really good i would actually love this probably for my brides because it looks so flawless um i'm gonna show you guys a little bit closer all i did was touch up my lip i did not touch up any of the makeup honestly i've just been on my couch all day i haven't really done much but i am going out pretty soon i'm gonna go out to dinner um and i'm not sure if we're sitting outside i also have to put a mask on to get in to the restaurant so that might affect it a little bit um but mostly like in the area where i applied my bronzer um, but we will see in a couple more hours how it looks but so far i honestly really 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 like it um and i would recommend it so far so i guess we'll see what it looks like tonight so it is almost 9 30 and this is what it is looking like my skin does look a little bit more oily than normal. Um, with my other foundation, it does not get this oily, but I still think it is a really, really good foundation. Obviously, under my eyes is creasing, but that is because of my concealer. Um, other than that, my smile lines aren't too, too bad, but... Honestly, I think my skin still really looks really good with the foundation. I don't think it looks bad at all. Babe, yeah. come here. What's up? How do you think my foundation looked on a scale of oh 1 to 10 today? Oh my gosh. Just Let how do you see. think it looked, like, compared to normal? Looks more oily, you feel? No, I think it looks about the same. So, 1 to 10. I'd go with a solid 10. Really? I think you look the same as you usually do, so. Okay. Well, thanks. You got my approval. That's all I need you for. Thanks, love you, bro. <laughs> okay, so I guess it looks the same as normal. I guess I would say it's a good foundation. I would definitely wear it again, and I would recommend it. So that is it for today's foundation review. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.